Okay, our first question goes to Mark Leeson. Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. Can I ask you, uh, Jacques, do you feel uh, you guys are ready now? And where do you still need to kind of make up your mind as far as the test team is concerned? I'm talking position-wise. Uh, no, I think we are ready. Yes, obviously, we will have to work uh, still extremely hard. So I get a master play, I get a master play, and then myself, yes. Oh, can you can you hear me now? Uh, perfectly, sir. I'm looking forward to your answer. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we ready? Obviously, um, yes. I, uh, this is exactly what we wanted. Uh, not to loss uh, a game, another game, and and to give guys the opportunity to stake their claims uh, for the test, which is in a week's time. Um, and uh, obviously, the result didn't go our way. Uh, not what we hoped for. Uh, but I think we got a lot of answers in terms of. Uh, uh, the questions that we had over certain players and over individuals, and I thought we got that. Um, we knew that the, obviously the Bulls is the best franchise in South Africa, and that's of to giving us this uh, this game. Um, and and we needed a game to get answers, uh, and and I felt we got a lot of that. Uh, thank you, Coach Chuck. And uh, our next question uh, comes from Yander Koenen. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Jacques, it's, it's pretty, my question is pretty similar. Um, you, you say you, you got some answers as to some players and things you were looking at. Uh, I'm not expecting you to give us your team, or uh, but is, are there positions that, that you actually, players from this game that put up their hands that you think it will come into your reckoning? Or uh, is it simply that uh, the guys that said, uh, yeah, they, they're not ready yet? Yeah, you showed they're not ready yet. Yeah, look, I, I think to go into each and every individual is going to be tough now. And and obviously, guys, you, you sit here you're quite emotional after a performance like that. So, uh, and I think uh, if you if you give comments on individuals now, it will be emotional comments, and we we will have to go back and have a look at the the game and have a look at the individuals' performances. Uh, obviously, uh, as a team, the performance wasn't there, you know. So, uh, but. It's tough then sometimes for individuals to to get, um, although they were probably, or some of them might have performed individually well, they didn't come out as a team. So I, I don't think it's probably the right place to go into individuals and say, listen, this guy, that guy, or that guy. Uh, 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 but but again, I felt that um, uh, we, we, we needed these questions asked at players under pressure uh, to get some answers, and that's why we were looking for three games. Uh, uh, if it was Georgia, Georgia, uh, SAA, or Georgia, SAA, uh, British and Irish Lions, A, and, and Bulls, this is what we needed, and I felt we got that out of the game. Thank you, Jack, and uh, good afternoon, Hendrik Kronje. Dumelang, Jack, hello, Elton. Jack, uh, I'm sure this is not the result that you wanted, but I need to ask you what you thought of Johan Huysen's performance. Yes, I thought the Bulls were were good and they were um, they were desperate. We knew they were going to be desperate. Um, I've coached teams uh, where we played national teams or international teams, you know, uh, as a club, um, and obviously your desperation levels are through the roof, uh, and they. First finger must point to us as a management, myself as the head coach. Um, obviously, did some big things wrong in the build-up to this uh, game, and uh, so yeah, the Bulls they were they were good. They were just it's sad to say, but they were more desperate than us. And like I say, I, I, um, I yeah, starts with me. Thank you, Jock, and uh, we welcome Ashfaq Muhammad. Hi, Jock. Um, you speak about the desperation that the Bulls had, but are you a bit disappointed you didn't see that perhaps from, from the SAA team because 
the, the guys are in basically in the Springbok squad, pushing for places. You said yesterday quite a few other guys are still in COVID uh, quarantine. You're not sure if they're going to be available for the first test next week. So there were places up for grabs and it just didn't seem to happen today. Yeah, Ashfaq, I think yeah, that's the thing. And again, I'm saying if I look at it now, I'm probably going to give emotional answers. So we'll have to have a look at it. Uh, from a more objective point of view, uh, obviously doing a proper review on the game. Uh, and uh, yes, but I agree with you. I think there was uh, there was places up for grab. And and you know, they, yeah, there's there's not a lot of positive in a performance like this. But if you think about it, um, we needed to get uh, uh, um, we we got two hookers currently under uh, uh, COVID still and in their return to play. So. We had to see more of Joseph. We had to see Fez uh, who came into the squad because of those COVID um, uh, um, infections or cases. Uh, it's, we got Dukes uh, um, or Damien Dalenda through 60 minutes. We got uh, Damien Willemse uh, playing 12 again. We got Elton uh, uh, through uh, 80 minutes. Uh, we've got Quagha in again through 80 minutes. So so I think you know, from that point of view, we, we got a lot of guys who... Who have um, who needed more game pl- time? We got game time into them, uh, but um, yeah, like I say, there won't be a lot of positives. But that, those are the the answers we 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 needed, and and also the the outcome of the game. We needed more minutes under our belt, and and we got that. Thank you, Jock, and uh, we we say good afternoon to some Kiwi Kabanisa. As a Jacques, um, you talk about giving giving game time to you know to players. You've gone through all the players. The one guy that sticks out that hasn't had any kind of game time in all three of the um, of the games that you've played is um, is Mapimpi. Does that rule really him out of um, sort of potential involvement next week? Yeah, look, like I said uh, yesterday. Um, obviously, it will depend on. Uh, uh, physical readiness is he ready to, uh, does he get through his COVID protocols and 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 remember like I said yesterday COVID protocols doesn't necessarily start the day you tested positive you might have symptoms three days before going to isolations the moment we get a, a player with symptoms uh, and then when he tests positive uh, he's, he's 10 day uh, in quarantine started the day that he got symptoms so like I said the medical team runs that so firstly in, he's got a race, obviously, to get out of his quarantine and get through his return to play. And then we must make a decision. Is he one of the guys that we've worked with? What is his conditioning? How does he train? Uh, uh, what does his stat look like to, in terms of GPS stats uh, when, he, when, he, um, when he trains? And then we must make an informed decision on that. Um, and as, like I said yesterday, some players we have who's been in our squad, who's been in our mix for, for uh, 18, 20, 26 test matches. Obviously, they got a good understanding of what we're trying to do and, and how our system works. Uh, they, they'll probably have a, a um, uh, that will count for them. But obviously, guys who haven't been, who's been in the same situation, but hasn't been part of our system uh, for a long period of time, it will be tougher for them. For them. Thank you, Jock. And our next question will come from Craig Lewis. Thanks, Ray. Uh, Jock, sorry, I missed uh, yesterday's press conference. I don't know if you provided an uh, injury update on on Billy, Billy LaRue, and uh, just with regards to fullback, uh, what did you think of, of Fassi today, and, and would he be a you know a decent option if, if Billy needed to, to have a backup or, or someone step in for him? Yeah, listen, uh, on Billy, um, I spoke to him this morning, and he, he said he's, he feels fine. We will have to reassess and get probably a, a medical uh, on, on all the injuries, we will uh, the players who played on Wednesday and today will get a proper medical um, feedback from the doctors tomorrow um, before we go into team selection for for next Saturday. Um, yeah, Pelele is young. I thought um, uh, this is now his second game or international game that he's played. Um, and we, we wouldn't have had him in the squad if we don't think he's good enough. Uh, but he's still. I think there's still a lot of things that he needs to 
not his mistake, not the fact that, uh, not because he's not good enough. It's just, like I said, it, it takes some getting used to the way we do things in, in our team and our environment, our systems, our structures. Uh, and, and the more he's in our environment, the more you learn. But he's, uh, he's definitely a proper talent for the, for the future. And listen, if we have to, uh, I'm sure if we have to press on his button, uh, he will be ready to go. Thank you, Jock. And uh, we say good afternoon to Nathan. Hi, Ray. Thank you so much. Uh, Jock, I like you with the loss. Um, with the current situation happening in Gauteng region and it being a COVID epicenter, have there still been talks of moving the, the, the last two fixtures in Cape Town or is that still in, the, in talks? Yes, I've got no clue. Uh, I, 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 try and, I try and stay clear of that. Um, as much as possible, uh, and not because uh, I don't, for us as coaches, if we play in the test matches here, if we play in Joburg, I mean, we just need to play. We, I'm sure there's organisers and, and medical committees and uh, that would monitor this, those things, and, and we must just trust their, their guidance and, and, um, and their, and their uh, feedback. And, uh, our job is to to make sure that uh, we get this team ready for Saturday. And um, yeah, that's I, 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 we we don't I don't mind if we play it in Cape Town or in Joburg. It doesn't matter. Thank you, Jack. And um, some Nikiwe, is that another question from you? Yes, it is, Ray. Okay. Um, Jacques, throughout the build-up, um, you haven't played. Um, you haven't played a, a six-two split on the bench. I'm just wondering: is should we read that as a direction you guys are going, or was it a simple sort of case of necessity in terms of needing more e options with the lack of game time for, for, for most of the players? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, six split. I think we went with a four-four split today. Uh, we obviously had nine players on the bench. Uh, but only four forwards uh, in Liesl. We had five forwards and four backs. So, so no, it's it's not to say we won't go with a 6-2 split. Uh, it was just uh, the cards that was dealt to us in terms of players available and and uh, um, where we felt we needed some cover, maybe going into a game. You know, uh, if you think uh, Andre, who was coming back from 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 injury uh, has been out for a while um, so maybe uh, um, our thought process was maybe to have a backup for him you know and uh, 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 not only him but I'm, I'm just using that as an example so um, if you're yeah so six to split is, is definitely something we will look at and it will be um, game by game uh, and and uh, players availability yeah Thank you, Jack. And uh, we're going to have two more questions and then we have, we'll have a pause and have two players. So, uh, Mark Gleason, if your hand is up for a new question, over to you. Yes, please. Um, Jack, you sidestepped that uh, Johan Gerson thing uh, question very well with the same flair that Gerson displayed today. Could I press you on that, please? What did you think of him today? No, again, I, I didn't sidestep it. I thought he was good. I said I thought the Bulls team was good. You know, all of them played very well. And... Uh, um, so, Johan, yeah, obviously, he was, he's a classic player, and uh, I thought his performance was good. But, I, again, when I look at it, I probably looked at our players more than I looked at their players, you know. Obviously, they in our squad. And, uh, um, but but the, the, and if, if you ask me now, yes, how much did he kick? Where did he kick to? Uh, I, I didn't watch it. I didn't look at that at all in the game in terms of uh, how many he carried the ball or passed the ball. How was the distribution? Uh, obviously, when they've got the ball, I'm looking at our defense. Uh, and when we've got the ball, uh, I'm looking at our attack. Uh, so I, I don't even know if he made a tackle or didn't make a tackle. But obviously, I will have the answers in more detail when, when we go through a proper review uh, uh, after the game. Uh, so, no, yes, I didn't. I hope, hopefully, it didn't come across that I tried to sidestep it. But I thought, in general, he was good on the day. Uh, the, the, if, I, if I have to comment from my eye view. But in saying that, I thought the whole Bulls team was good uh, when I look at it from my eye view. Thank you, Jack. And our final question goes to Ken Bolin. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Hi, hi, Jacques. Hi, Elton. Um, 
Jacques, you, you must be concerned that uh, you were playing against what is really a, a young Bulls pack, um, and your pack really didn't manage to give you guys any sort of platform. You really didn't have dominance uh, up front, which I think many people would have expected. Yes, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I, I thought, uh, and again, I'm, I'm talking now from my eye view, so I don't have the, I can't go into detail and stuff like that. Uh, um, uh, in, in saying that, I, th I thought uh, we, we didn't know who we played. Uh, we, uh, up to yesterday, when the MAG met, I think at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, it might have been the SAA, uh, the Lions A, then it might have been the Bulls again. So, uh, first thing, I, we didn't do any analysis on them. Uh, so, again, yes, our pack wasn't dominant. Uh, but... Uh, normally, we, we would do proper analysis on a team, how they contest, how they stop malls, uh, what their tactics is in scrum time. We haven't done any of that because we just didn't have time to analyze them. Uh, we played on Wednesday, and I'm not looking for excuses. Uh, but obviously, uh, if, you, if you ask me, honestly, did I expect a, a, a better pack uh, uh, performance in terms of uh, getting us free from set pieces? Yes, uh, uh, we definitely expected proper uh, set-piece platform for us to launch our attack off, uh, which we didn't get to that. So, yes, uh, we were, and again, uh, we will probably, I'll probably have to have a good look at, at why that happened, uh, and, and we will probably have more answers uh, after tomorrow. Thank you, Jock, and thank you, Elton. Um, I will pause now to excuse you, and then we will welcome two players for 15 minutes interviews. Thank you very much.